This is my territory, I'll defend it with pride So I close one eye and, and just let it fly I pop them in the chest, they fell back a little So I aimed for their forehead and shot right in the middle Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel and today I am going to show you a guide that will teach you everything that you need to know about your base camp in State of Decay. To begin, one of the first things you will need to master is a storage locker. The storage locker works on a kind of currency system. If you put things into the storage locker, you gain influence. If you take things out, you lose influence. The kind of buying and selling thing that you usually find in an RPG game. Run out of influence and you will not be able to take anything out of the locker. You gain influence by going on runs, fetching supplies and putting them back into the storage locker. If you press the up button on the d-pad you are able to manage your survivors. If you are friends with a certain survivor you are able to switch out to that survivor by highlighting them and pressing X. If you are not yet friends with a survivor then please refer to my other guides for details on how to become friends. Also on the survivor menu you are able to see the health of your survivor. You are able to see whether they are tired, injured or sick as well as their stats and equipment too. If you click on a specific survivor, you can find out what skills they have, which is very handy when choosing weapons for them to use. From the base camp, you are also able to access your mission log. This basically acts as a journal. It tells you which missions have pinged up, which missions have been completed, which missions are yet to be completed, and other general useful trinkets of information that you can use to your advantage. The journal and mission log is especially useful if you've been swamped with quests recently or if you're just loading up the game for the first time that day. One of the most useful menus in the base camp is the resource menu. On a daily basis your survivors will use resources for a variety of things. The more survivors you have, the more resources you will consume. From this menu you're able to see exactly how many resources your camp gets through on a daily basis. You're also able to see how many resources you currently have in stock. You can see information on food, medicine, ammunition, construction supplies, fuel, weapons, vehicles and more. You are able to access your camp layout from the menu too. This is again a very important tool that you should take advantage of. If you select a specific building on your camp layout, you can select actions to complete for that building. You are able to build new buildings on blank spots such as medical facilities and sleeping quarters. You are able to upgrade existing buildings if you meet certain requirements such as having an experienced medic or an experienced builder. Via the kitchen you are able to prepare meals which give you daily stamina boosts. Via the radio room you are able to broadcast messages to recruit new survivors or forage for useful supplies such as food and medicine. Basically, the more time you spend nurturing your camp, the stronger you and your camp will become. Another useful menu is the outpost menu. At the bottom of your camp layout, you are able to see the outpost that you have claimed. Depending on the outpost you claim, you can gain daily resources such as food and construction supplies. You can also set traps via the map layout menu, which will help keep survivors safe during scavenging missions. Setting traps will also help you in the event that you find yourself fleeing from a horde of zombies into your outpost, which basically acts as a safe house. Please see my other guides for more information on outposts. As you progress further into the game, you can also use your radio by pressing the down button on the D-pad. Using this, you will be able to call out the doctor for health boosts and even call out other survivors to help you explore and fight. Needless to say, it is very important that you spend plenty of time on a daily basis upgrading and tending to your camp. Hopefully, this guide will help you when it comes to using your base correctly to your advantage. Until next time my friends, Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming Channel, saying goodbye.